Over 50,000 oil and gas wells were drilled worldwide in 2016 at a cost totaling several tens of billions of dollars. Many of these wells were drilled in remote locations by people operating heavy equipment for long periods of time. These conditions increased costs in both economic and human terms. Nine people lost their lives on drilling rigs in 2015 in the United States alone. So what if these wells could be drilled more cheaply by robots instead of by humans? That's the goal of my research under petroleum engineering professor Dr. Eric Van Orden. My project has to do with drilling fluid, or mud, which is pumped down the drill pipe and through the bit to carry rock pieces to the surface and prevent the well from blowing out. Drilling engineers are constantly doing calculations to figure out the mud pressure at the bottom of the well. You know how honey pours more slowly than water? You know how hot honey pours more quickly than cold honey? Well, drilling mud is the same way. I added a heater to a flow loop to test the behavior of additives at different temperatures. The results showed that certain chemicals make the mud harder to pump at low flow rates, but easier to pump at high flow rates. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, which proves that the best way to predict mud pressure at the drill bit is to measure its properties in real time on the rig itself. Now I am applying a new concept called a pipe viscometer to an old research prototype built by Shell Oil Company. Instead of reprogramming the prototype's $20,000 industrial controller, I bought a $40 Raspberry Pi mini computer and wrote Python code to collect data myself. Later this year, I will take this system out to a real drilling rig to see if it works in the field. If it does, it will eventually replace a person on the rig whose job it is to take a mud sample, measure it in a spinning cup, and calculate the properties by hand. That will keep one more person out of harm's way, saving money and helping prevent catastrophic blowouts in the process.